What's up YouTube, my name is John Brahman, and in this video we are gonna be talking about customizing something that you probably have to look at all the time, and that is your Mac. See these icons here? Can you see how dirty my screen is? I should probably wash it. I drink a lot of coffee when I'm at my computer, so I end up spitting like when I'm talking like bah, puh, puh, puh. I get a little coffee spittle all over my monitor. Ugh. Anyway. If you're anything like me, I've just been leaving these icons exactly how they came. And in some cases, they're terribly ugly. I mean, Dymo label printer, this thing right here, the icon for that is terrible. And I've had to look at it every day for years. So finally, I decided, even though I knew how to do this once upon a time, to finally change out my icons, customize them for myself. I didn't change all of them, just the ugly ones or ones I've got real bored of looking at, like the Adobe ones. I gave them just a subtle little tiny tweak. It takes two minutes, it's so easy to change them, other than the actual design of the icon if you wanna go crazy, but actually switching out the icon is so simple to use. It's something I should've done a long time ago, so let's jump into the computer. Okay, so at the bottom of the screen here, you may have some icons that you don't like. Now you can see I've already switched out my Adobe icons to just a very subtle change, but I took the square that we've been using for so long and I made it a circle. I know it's not crazy, but I liked when looking at it, the photos and this right font, uh, music, App Store, I've got Grids for Instagram, Slack, Chrome, Safari, all these other things are using circles. So I kind of just thought it would make more sense to kind of stick with the circle theme, at least for the Adobe suite. And sometimes I may, I may end up going in here and change pages and other apps that I use. But the main one, the one that I hate the most, is this Dymo label printer. I think it's just an ugly, outdated, terrible looking icon. So in order to change it, all we would need to do is open up Finder and head over to our Applications folder. From here, we can just pick any of these icons that we want, and we just have to right-click on them, click Get Info, and then up here, not here, see down here where it says Preview, don't just ignore that. Up here in this top corner, you can select the thumbnail, and what I want to do is go Command-C to copy that thumbnail. Now all we need to do is open either Photoshop or Illustrator. So whichever one you're more comfortable with. I tend to use Illustrator the most and I like to make a vector icon. So I'm using Illustrator, but the steps are basically the exact same. So with Illustrator open, we're just gonna change this to pixels and we're gonna make it 512 pixels by 512 pixels. One artboard, we don't want any bleed or any of that stuff. If we go to advanced options, you want RGB. That's the color of your monitor. The raster effect resolution and things don't matter and don't worry about this. It's just telling you that if you try and print it, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. So click OK and you will end up with this artboard. Now all you have to do because you've copied that thumbnail is hit Command V and it'll paste that thumbnail exactly how it fits on the artboard. So this is exactly what you're working with. You bring it off the artboard, you can see that there is a transparent background, no background to that. So the next step is if, like in my case, you like one of the other icons that you already have on your desktop, then I suggest you just right click on it, do the exact same thing where we're just going to copy that thumbnail and then paste it as well, just so you have a reference. So now you can make your circle this size and you can get a real subtle drop shadow just like they have. Now I've already gone ahead and done this, so I'll open up my file here. So you can see I just copied the photos icon and I have my original. It's good to keep this original too because in the newer versions of Mac OS X, once you change it, it's not easy to change the icon back to the original. It used to be able to just hit that little thumbnail and hit delete or backspace on your keyboard and you type in your password and it would change it to the old one. Now it kind of just changes it to a blank applications logo. So it's good to have this so you can save a PNG or whatever just in case you want to go back. So now as mentioned, I've already gone ahead and drawn an icon that I prefer. This one just looks like the printer that I have essentially and it's got the Dymo label that's printing out of the printer. As you can see I experimented with a bunch of different ones. I found that their logo wasn't super conducive like just maybe this D or something to a small icon. But I'm pretty happy with this. I don't know if it's perfect but how much time can you spend on an icon <laughs> that you're not selling a client. So all I did is copy that and I'm just going to center it on my artboard like so. And if I center this, you will see that they're virtually the same size. So I use that as my reference. Then all I had to do is go to export, save for web. And we want to make sure that our preset is PNG and then definitely you have transparency on. That's probably the most important, make sure transparency is on. It should say 512 by 512. And just from there, you can save this file wherever you want. So I'm going to save it here as Dymo Label 4. So now navigate to where you save that file and simply double click to open it. And you can see I've got a bunch of different options here. And then in preview, you need to go to edit and copy. You can't just copy the thumbnail from here usually. So you have to do it this way. 
go back to that icon, right click, hit get info, go to the thumbnail here, click it, command V, it's gonna ask for your password, so you just type that in, and just like that, you have a brand new icon. Now you may notice it doesn't update right away in the dock, which is frustrating, so just click and drag it off the dock and then bring it back from the applications folder. And from now on, that is what your icon will look like. Super easy. I repeated the same process to get my Adobe icons. And of course, you can put any kind of image you want there, any kind of design you've created, or you can get a thumbnail off the internet that someone else has designed that you like better. It's that easy to switch these out. And now your eyes will be a little less in pain when you're using your Mac all day. So it's that easy. Get info, copy and paste. Come on. I should have been changing my icons forever ago, especially those terribly ugly ones like the Dymo label printer one that I mentioned before. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please consider hitting like, please consider subscribing or don't, whatever, you know, if it doesn't suit you. But I'll be putting out more videos roughly weekly, maybe kind of. I've been busy doing Skillshare classes, which you can see at the link below. So my last class, the hot sauce label intro to package design. That one took a long time, so I got a little delayed in these YouTube videos, but that's it. See you next time. Bye.